So here we are with Bravo at the AT&T Holiday Gift Guide event, taking a look at the, I, I think just announced, AT&T version of the Xperia Play. So he's going to walk us through some of the goodness, uh, maybe talk a little bit about the specs, and uh, show us what you can expect. Absolutely. So like you said, we have the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play uh, now for the first time available on AT&T, and it will be a 4G phone. Uh, first uh, thing, is that 4G, HSPA Plus, or LTE? Uh, all, all we know right now is that it will be 4G um, and will be available by year end. Okay. So the first thing, cos cosmetically, you have a new stealth blue color option. So in addition to that base black that you saw on Verizon Wireless, you now have a new stealth blue. So both blue colors blue will color be available? Option. That's correct. Okay. Um, the Xperia Play itself, you have a front-facing front facing camera and the rear facing camera. And it is running, of course, Android 2.3 Gingerbread. And so go ahead. Which, which, which version of Gingerbread? 2.3? Uh, 2.3, yes. 2.3. Um, so, the game, uh, the device will come preloaded with uh, several titles, uh, as you saw on the Verizon version. Uh, this time it's Asphalt 6, Adrenaline the Racing title, uh, Dungeon Defenders, Second Wave, uh, third person action uh, slash RTS, almost uh, RPG with leveling up. This will be the exclusive to the AT&T version, a really fun game that I've been playing a ton of. Uh, Madden NFL, uh, The Sims 3, and it also will uh, come preloaded with Nova 2. Another exclusive uh, first-person shooter that I think most people will really find uh, takes advantage of that controller. It's really difficult to pull off a first-person shooter um, on a touchscreen phone. So you've got your D-pad, your dual-touch analog sticks, your iconic PlayStation certified buttons, and the shoulder keys. And uh, let's quickly load up. This is a prototype device, so we sure. can show you all the games today. Uh, we can show you Madden. So, while this is loading from a spec standpoint, we're looking at the same specs as the Verizon version. So the four-inch Scorpion processor in there. Abs yeah, absolutely. We have the Snapdragon uh, Adreno graphics from Qualcomm. Okay. Uh, you've got the four-inch multi-touch screen, um, so same, same hardware in the phone, okay. just running on a faster network. So now if we resume this, you can probably hear these speakers are quite loud, uh, pleasantly loud. Something else that's cool about the Play is not only does it take advantage of these full PlayStation certified controls, but it also takes advantage of this touch screen. So in games, you'll find yourself uh, playing games with the buttons and quickly having to tap the screen. Uh, so uh, really a totally new immersive gaming experience. So I'll go ahead and check, uh, pick a Play here. So you got thousands of people watching you here. You better make a good move. Find the game. I think that was a pretty good game. That was a nice run. I think we had a good run there. Only right. the real Reggie Bush could do that. <laughs> and absolutely. So, as I said, this phone will be available by year end. And thank you for checking it out. Thank you very much, Bob. I appreciate absolutely. the time. See ya. And we're looking at a release sometime before the end of the year, uh, claims AT&T. This actually hasn't even been officially announced. They just happened to uh, have one sitting here.